So I spent over a hundred hours on my very first YouTube video and I didn't even end up uploading it. I did put it onto YouTube but I left it as unlisted so technically I didn't upload it because it didn't go out to the public. But anyway, the reason I wanted to make this video was that I wanted to talk about my YouTube journey and the fears, resistances and other obstacles that I encountered along this path. So like I mentioned, I spent over a hundred hours on this first YouTube video here and I was essentially talking about this book called Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and how it changed my life. And one of the reasons I spent so long in this video was because yeah, it was my first video and I needed to learn how to use the camera, the mic, the lighting for myself. And also I wanted to make it look perfect like a, like those YouTube videos where they got like nice LED colors in the background. I was doing that as well. So I was trying to set that up and also learning how to edit, learning how to script. And yeah, it's something I want to talk about making that video so when I initially made it I was extremely nervous for some reason like when it's weird to think about that it's just me alone in my room speaking in front of this camera and for some reason I was just extremely nervous and I was extremely uncomfortable and I think it's just because it's a very new scenario for me you know having these lights pointing at me and the camera and speaking in front of it um, and I actually had a few practice runs before actually shooting the video and what I realized was that I just kept stuttering. So when I shot that first video, I literally had to memorize my script word for word and regurgitate it in front of the camera. And it just gave off this very unnatural vibe. Like when I actually went back and rewatched the video, it sort of just gave me hostage vibes, like to be honest, because you can tell that I just didn't really want to be there. I felt awkward and I was just forcing myself to speak. Also a funny story about this is that when I shot the video, I woke up at 4 a.m. to start shooting it at 5 a.m. because I didn't want any of my family members to hear me speaking in front of a camera because they'd be thinking that I'm a weirdo. <laughs> like, so I woke up that early to start shooting the video. And every time I heard noises outside of my room, I would stutter even more. I would be even more nervous than I already was because I just thought that somebody was hearing me and hearing how weird I was. And also you can see here, I, I think I was actually sweaty from how nervous I felt recording that video. It's pretty funny. But at the end of it, I did end up getting all my footage and spoke about everything that I wanted to speak about. And to compensate for the awkwardness, I tried to make the video better by adding a lot of B-rolls from stock footage and adding, you know, special effects and all those things, which that really took a lot of time. And so the reason I didn't upload it was because fear and resistance and self-sabotage, perfectionism, they all got the best of me because fear of like, oh, what are people going to think about me? Because it's not the best video in the world. But what I do think is that despite not uploading that first video, I did learn a lot from it and it did give me the confidence to, you know, make a better video the next time and end up uploading it to YouTube, which is this one right here. I just wanted to be open to you guys because maybe, I don't know if you're feeling these same things when you're, if you're trying to make a YouTube video or whatever you're trying to do. Um, so anyway, I do want to move on and talk about imposter syndrome because I think this is extremely important in this scenario and in other aspects of life. So one of the strongest human desires is to stay consistent with the way that we define ourselves. So I think the reason why I had so much resistance was because of so much cognitive dissonance within myself. So when I was speaking in front of a camera, I was acting as if I was a YouTuber. I was acting as if I was a vlogger. But metaphorically speaking, if I were to give a voice to the resistance within me that I was trying to pull away from this new definition I was trying to give myself, the inner resistance was saying to me, Stephen, you're not a real YouTuber. You're not a vlogger. Just stop what you're doing. Go back to the way you were. And these were the inner resistances that I was feeling. And also I do want to bring up this interesting study, some psychology study, which says that the same part of our brain that activates when you think about strangers activates when we think about our future self. So to simplify that, our mind thinks that our future self is in some way like a stranger, that it's not us. And that's why I believe it creates some resistance because of cognitive dissonance. So when we try something new, when we try to define ourselves in a new way, our mind doesn't immediately think that that's us. And that's why it creates resistance to try and push us back to the way we were. So that's why I wanted to make this video to talk about that aspect as well, because so say that if you're trying to start your own YouTube channel, or if it doesn't even have to relate to YouTube, say that you want to try something new, you want to join a new gym, join a new sport, join a new club or community, whatever it is, you're going to have a feeling of inner resistance within you to try to pull you away from it, to keep you the way that you currently are. And I do really want to say that if you feel these things, you know, there's nothing wrong with you. 
it's normal and it's okay to feel these emotions. You should welcome it, you should expect it because once you understand it, once you understand these unconscious elements of resistance, then it will no longer subconsciously rule you. So as Carl Jung says, if you do not make the unconscious conscious, it will rule your life and you will call it fate. So making peace with these inner demons, these inner resistances and understanding it will allow you to overcome it. I guess that's just what I wanted to say in this video. You're more capable than you can imagine. You can do whatever you want to do. Just You can redefine yourself. You don't have to be the same person you were like a year ago or a month ago or even a week ago. You can change yourself, but just know that you could feel resistance, but that's okay. You can still do whatever you want to do and change. And, be who you want to be and anyway yeah that's it for this video it's just a quick one um yeah i hope you got something out of it and until next time see you in the next video peace